it's exciting because I got, I got a box that I have to open. So I'm participating in a mystery box challenge. We had to send each other a box with five items in it. Three of them could be from the crafting aisle and two of them could be from anywhere else in the store. And I received my box, so I want to open it. So I'm going to open it right now. So let's open the box and see what's inside. Okay, let's see what's in here. Well, let's see. The first thing I got was uh, clips, and they are for Easter. Hmm, I don't know what to do with that yet, but that's the first thing. I got that, and let's see what else is in here. Ooh, they sent me one of those canvases. Let's see what else I got in here. Ooh, she sent me shower curtain rings. So I guess this is from the other section of the store, shower curtain rings. So I got that. So you get five uh, wood planks. So for sure I can use those with my scroll saw or my wood burning kit. I also got a, a pack of whistles from the party section. Hmm, I don't know what to do with those. That's gonna be hard. And the last thing I got is this flower pot. What do you call that? I'll just try and figure something out. I have to use a piece of everything. They are whistles. <coughs> hey, look, it's a bird. It's a bird, Mike. And then... It's the Mystery Box Swap, hosted by Leah at Junker Necker DIY and Favi at Arrows DIY. Check out their links in the description box and also the playlist. I had decided my little bird needed a birdhouse so using the planter and one of the shower curtain rings i stuck the ring on in the front then i took a couple of the wood planks and i cut them down with my scroll saw to make a little roof i took the canvas apart and removed a piece of the frame and i was going to be using this as a perch i did all of these projects on live streams on my channel. Get access to my lives and future uploads for free. Click on that subscribe button and make sure to hit that bell button on all to be notified when I go live or for future videos. My viewers from my live stream insisted that I stain the wood and luckily for me I had gone to Michael's and gotten one of those five dollar grab boxes and inside was a whole bunch of stain. So I used this really pretty brown stain on the roof and then for the planter, which was going to be my birdhouse, I had made some paint using white paint and a little bit of yellow to make this really pretty cream color. Once that was fully dried by using my hair dryer on a cold setting, I found this little fence that I'd gotten at Dollar Tree in my drawer and I just gave it a cut in the middle and put the two of them together closer just with hot glue and then I painted that brown. I thought it was really cute and I proceeded to glue that to the side of the house so it looked like it had a little fence around it. Once I had the fence all glued into place, I was holding onto it for the glue to dry, but then someone from the audience suggested that I put clamps on the fence to hold it into place. I didn't have any clamps at the time that I could find, so instead I had some hair clips handy and I used those. While I was waiting for the glue to dry, I did 
take my little bird and I painted him gray. Then I took the little bunny clothespin clip and I cut off the clothespin part. I painted it orange and then I used it as his little feet. I just used some hot glue and I stuck them on. Once that was done, I took some black paint and I made some little wings on either side of my gray bird. And then I painted his little beak yellow. And I thought he was just adorable. What do you think of my little bird? Would you have painted him gray or blue? When the house was dry, I took the roof piece and I was trying to fit it on the top of the planner. I also needed to cut the perch, so I had painted it brown first and then I cut it in half lengthwise. Someone in the audience had suggested that the roof needed tiles, so originally I had printed off some tiles from the net and using my pen and some carbon paper I traced out all of the tile shapes. Then using my wood burner tool I proceeded to wood burn all of the tiles into the wood but that was taking forever and you know me and patience we don't get along so instead I decided to cut out some more pieces of the tile and just mod podge it right onto the roof to make it more look like a real roof with shingles. I had only cut out three of the shingle pieces of paper to glue them on so the last one I did have to match up two sides to put it on and I just used Mod Podge by pouring it onto the back and then using a paintbrush to spread it out and then put it on and it worked out really well. I was really liking how it was looking because it really did look like a roof. Once that was done, I had to assemble my little house. And I had decided that I wanted to put some kind of embellishments on the house as well as the roof. I had this greenery and I decided to put a little bit inside the fence. I also cut some more of the wood planks and stained it because I wanted to cover up the house so it didn't have a hole in the middle of the roof. So I made a little closure. But it wasn't quite fitting right how I wanted it. It was a little off even after I had made a middle part to glue everything together so it would stay well. It still wasn't fitting properly. So I took a small piece of the wood plank and using my scroll saw I made a little trim. I also painted it that cream color so it would match the house. I had cut the perch into three pieces, one long piece and two short and I had added them on with hot glue because you never know when you're going to have some company. When I was assembling the roof it wasn't fitting properly still even with the trim and I had this little tumbling tower piece that I decided to try and put under the roof to glue it on and then the roof would stay. So I'm just deciding how the roof is going to go here. Then I put the tumbling tower block inside. Put 
put some hot glue and put the roof on and it fit. I was pretty happy about it. The birdhouse still needed a little something. So I took another one of those clips, the bunny one, and I cut with my scroll saw the ears off and I rounded it out and I made a little window. If you want to be a part of next month's mystery box challenge, make sure to message Fabby over at Arrows DIY or Leah at Junkernecker DIY for any details. What would you have made with the items I got? Do you have any ideas? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to check the playlist of all the other awesome creators in this challenge. How to make a gorgeous Kintsuki base? Click on the next video. And I'll show you how I made one.